Jen from Dumb Critical Saints here and today I'm going to be going through the Ultimate Deck version of Cell. Um, and if you like what you see just hit the sub button and let us know that we're doing good. So going into it we'll start with the leader card. So we've got Cell, it's a revamped version of his set 2 self. Um, they haven't changed the artwork on the Unawakened side, they never do, it kind of sucks. So, He's got active main once per turn, you place one android card from your hand underneath this, you draw one, then choose optional view your opponent's battle cards, energy cost of 3 or less, and KO it. So it just lets you draw and pop something straight away. And then if your life's at 4 or less, or there are 3 or more cards under this, you draw one, switch up to one of your energy back, and then add cards from your life to your hand until you hit 5, then flip them over. So that's really useful because it means you can just go further down, you take one life, you've hit 4 and you can start doing everything. Um, so on this side it's got auto, you place an android from your hand underneath this when it attacks to draw 2 and then it's got active main once per turn, you place 2 cards from underneath this in the drop, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, KO it, so there's no cost limit, just barrier and then he gains 5k and crit for the turn. So regardless of whether you kill something you can just make your leader 20k crit and you place one back underneath, draw 2 and yada yada. So it's very efficient. Um, so to start with, we've got the Z battle cards, which is just three copies of Freezer. You um, can easily make it four, you just have three at the moment. So he's got Deflect, Double Strike, cost two, and one Z energy. It's 15k. Uh, it's first auto is when it's played, choose it before your opponent's battle cards, cost five or less, KO it. And then secondly, auto is once per turn, you place one of your Z energy in, in the drop. Uh, when one of your other green back cards costs two or more attacks, your opponent discards a card. So you can just KO something and then make your opponent discard. So going to the main deck now, we have our Unison, which is just four copies of Super Saiyan 3 Vegito Peerless Warrior. So it's cost, it's got specified cost of two, um, 15k. So auto once return when you activate Union skill, you draw a card which there's Union Absorb in here, so it'll trigger. You've got plus two active main, choose all of your mono green battle cards and they get revenge until the start of your next turn. So if they enter combat with anything, the opponent dies at the end of the combat, regardless of whether your card lives or not. And it's got active main minus seven, if your leader is mono green, you look at your opponent's life, place one card from among them in the drop, then your opponent shuffles their life choose three cards in their hand and discard them. So you get to look at your opponent's life, rip one out, and then they have to discard three. So it's very powerful minus seven, but it's about getting it there. So don't be surprised when you play it. If it gets targeted to all hell, it is powerful. So going to the extra cards, start with, we've got two copies of Cells Earth Strong Kamehameha. So it's active battle. If the leader is green, choose up 12 of your green leader or battle cards and gains 15k power for the battle. And then also, if your lead, if all your energy is green, when you activate this card, you choose one card in your opponent's hand and discard it. So it forces a discard and gives you 15k combo for one energy. Uh, next, we've got a single copy of Dormant Potential, because I only have one copy. Um, so the counter attack, fill these mono green, choosing them of your opponent's battle cards that add up to the total cost of two or less, KO them. Additionally, you may choose green card in your hand to discard it. If you do, your opponent can only attack once more this turn. So it doesn't stop an attack, but it does let you limit how many attacks they have left. And then if you've got the green units in play, you don't have to pay the cost for its energy. So you just play it for free, and then ditch one and force your opponent into a super powerful Nimbus. Uh, next we've got three copies of Wretched Regeneration. Um, I run the three of this because I kind of like going into the seven, playing the seven cost cell to do the combo with him and the Unison. Um, that and I've only got one dormant so may as well up this. So it's got counter attack, if you leader's cell, negate the attack, additionally you mean discard a card from your hand, if you do play one green cell with an edge cost of 1 from your drop area. There are two different 1 cost cells, 
um, and you can literally just discard them and play them out with the skill. And it's got active main by paying two green and two colour synergy. If the leader is cell, you play up to one Xeno cell from under your leader's card or one green cell, then it just costs seven or eight from under your leader. So, in this deck, these are your two targets. Ideally, you go for the seven cost because then his effect will trigger. But I'll show you that later. And the last extra card for the deck is just two copies of Homicidal Clones. So it's just leaves green, the gate, play token, it's a blocker. If you're on five or less, you can just rip the life instead of paying the two. Um, yeah, it's just good. Two's kind of like my average number, you can run more. It's entirely up to you. So going to the battle cards now, we're starting with our one drops. So most of our one drops are kind of the same. So we've got four copies of Android 17 Absorption Imminent, and we've got Android 18 Absorption Imminent. So the only difference between these two is the auto. When you play 18, you draw a card. When you play 17, you look at top five cards, add a green Android, chop your deck. And then they both have active main. If your leader is a mono green cell, you place this card under your leader. So that helps you just get the things under there to do the skills later on. And you also have them as your union absorb targets for the deck. So these are a necessity at four. Because you have to see them and you want to see them as soon as you can. And get things going. My camera just got knocked. You're right. <laughs> Hell with me, technical rearranging. It's okay, man. There we go. And our next one drops are a, a hour one cost cells. So we've got cell absorption onslaught and cell starting assimilation. So again, the only major difference between these two is this cell has an auto, this one has an active main. Uh, so this one has the active main of if you have green unison and your opponent has no battle cards in play, you can play as in rest mode. And then this cell is, if you leader cell, when one of your opponent's battle cards is KO'd by your leader skill, you can play them out of rest mode. And then they both have um, Union Absorb for limit 1. If your leader is cell and you place a 17 from your hand or drop under this card, you play up to one multi card cell, then cost the 4 from your deck or drop out on top of the card, and then shuffle your deck if you look through it. So they're just your ways to get into the 4 drop, and then your 4 drop goes to your 8 drop. So that's those. Uh, next we've got two drops, and to start with we've got two copies of Android 20 Vial Creator. So, see, a uh, two costs, it's got 5k combo for an age cost of 1, but essentially it's Champer. So, when you come with this card during the turn, choose one of your attacking green Android cards and gains 5k in double for the turn. So, it comes in handy when you've got, like, our 8 cost self can be stand itself, so you can combo this. For well, the first attack it will gain 10k double, for well, the next attack it will be on plus 5 and double. Because it sticks to double strike for the turn. And next we got our super combos for the deck. So we've got a Dr. Jero Progenitor of Terror. We've got two Great Saiyan Man. And a Stout Hearted 16. So there's a super combo for the deck. Uh, Dro, if you leave green or yellow, when you come with it, you can choose up to one green or yellow back card, cost four or less from your deck and place it in the drop. Um, great Saiyan Man, if your life if your lead is green, you don't four or less, you've got green energy, place one to the bottom, draw two. And then the sixteen is if your lead is green android and you're on four or less, your opponent discards a card and he gains ten K combo power. <laughs> so I've got you may as well run the 18 while you're at it as well and have four different <laughs> super complex. Oh god no. <laughs> um, so 16 just comes in handy to force a discard. Jero helps out with things that we need for sell, so if we're missing an 18, you can combo Jero, put this 18 straight in the drop, and then Great Say Man is just good. So not much to say on that one. Uh, next we've got a free cost for the deck which is just three copies of 1718 Absorption Imminent. So you've got Unique, Critical and 10k. 
It's got auto limit one. If the leader is green Android, uh, when your opponent's battle card is carried by one of your skills, you can play it from your hand. And then it's got an active main. If your leader is a mine green cell, you can place it underneath your leader to draw a card. So again, this is a necessity because it counts as 17 and 18. You can play it out when you pop something, swing for a 10k crit, and then you can shove it under your leader and draw a card. Thus, fueling your deck. Uh, my God, there's a lot of different cards in this deck. I didn't realise until I started doing this now. Uh, right, so we got our four cards for the deck. So to start with, we got four copies of Cell, Dawn of Despair. So this is what we first go into with our Union Absorb skills. So you've got Barrier, Evolve by paying one green onto an Android 17, if you want to do it that way. He's also got the Union Absorb skill. You, it's limit one and you pay green. You place the 18 underneath this time and then you give him to your 8 cost cell. And then when it's paid from deck or hand, you draw a card. So if you evolve into it, if you Union Absorb into it, you draw a card and then the nice part is, if you do him and this in the same turn, you draw two cards. Because this will trigger, because it's a union. And we've got a one-off Super Saiyan Goku Valiant Breakthrough. Um, the auto doesn't work because we don't have a um, multicolor Gohan childhood. But he's in here because he's got active main. If your opponent has four more energy and you have a cell, an edge cost of four more in play. Which there's the four cost, there's a the seven cost, and an eight cost, and twelve cost. Um, I don't know that one doesn't count. So you play this card from your hand. If you do, you choose up to one of your opponent's cards, switch it to rest mode, and you can't play another one for the turn, which is fine because we've only got one. And it's just here, so that if your opponent's on four, you can be like, well, I've got a cell, I'll play this Goku, force card into rest mode, and just go from there. And then he just becomes expendable. You can throw him from combo, you can just throw him as 15, doesn't matter. It's just here as a little bit of disruption. Um, our five cost for the deck is just four copies of Charismatic Villain. So, can't play, play him out. If you've got the green use in with two or more markers, it costs you nothing. And then when it's played, choose the point of your back cards, cost seven or less, and KO it. Simple as, freeze is just the staple in green. Um, next, we've got our seven costs, which is three copies of Perfect Force Cell. One of mine is SPR, but that's because these are from set two and not the reprinted ones. Um, so he's got 30k, you got Evolve by paying two green and four NG on top of the cell. Got double Strike, and it has an auto when you play this card. If the leader is an Android, your opponent chooses um, cards in the hand until they only have three remaining, and then place the rest in the drop area. So, it forces your opponent down to three cards, which then allows you to kind of combo with your unison. So ideally, you, say for example, you have that under your leader, you play him out using Wretched Regeneration, because it allows you to pick this from underneath your leader card. So you'd be like, okay, pay this for, play this out from underneath my leader. Um, this skill sends your opponent down to three cards. Then you minus seven on your unison to take a life on the take a card at their life and make them discard the rest of their hand because they've gone down to three thanks to self. So that just gives you free round to then hit them with 30 double unless they've already died. So it's just a nice three piece combo that you can do. Um, it's not necessary but I just kind of like playing into it. So my decks Craving it a little more. I put more effort into it than most builds, but that's just my choice. Um, next, got our eight costs for the deck. So sell and ending torrent. So this is kind of like our our boss, as it were. He's got blocker evolve by paying three on top of an Android 18. You're just going to use absorb into it. The evolve cost. If you do the evolve cost, something's wrong. Um, he's got a point of, if this would be removed from your back layer by an opponent's skill, you may place two cards from underneath the card in the owner's drop instead. So it can save itself by ditching two. And it's got active battle once per turn. If you need to sell and you place one card from under this card in your, in your drop area, you switch this card to active mode. 
So you can just swing, do the active battle, get it back to active mode, and then you can either swing with it again, or you can then just use it as a 20k blocker. But then when you do block with it, you can be like, okay, active battle, rip one, get it back, and I can block two attacks with a 20k. So it's very useful. Like I said, it's kind of our boss monster for the deck because it's what we're using all our little bits to go into. And finally, we've got our 12 cost Cell Xeno Unspeakable Abomination, which is our secret rare for the deck. Um, if you don't have this, you could just run another 8 cost Cell or whatever else you fancy. Um, so it's got Deflect, Successor. And then auto, if you have 5 more energy, when you place a card, choose 3 cards in your opponent's hand, place them in the drop area, and he gains dual attack and quad strike for a turn. So it does have it there, but it's part of the auto now, so you have to hit 5 energy before you do this skill. And um, yeah, just kind of a big ass kill thing. And there's ways of getting into it, but it's just there because it's thematic. So there we are. Folks, that is my Cell Ultimate Deck Cell deck profile. Um, as always, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the sub button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.